Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Kirsty from My Little Allotment and as you can see I'm down on the allotment today. It is Sunday the 21st of January and it's actually not that cold, it's quite mild today but the wind is blowing as that storm is rolling in so I'm going to spend a couple of hours on the allotment plot this morning doing various jobs, um, trying to get some things done um, before the storm comes in because that's probably going to stop me for a couple of days getting to the allotment. Um, at the moment I'm just currently emptying my veggie pod of my strawberry plants and I'm going to have to empty all the soil out of this because it's such a big bit of equipment it's super heavy when it's full of obviously soil and water so just in the process of doing that I have got my dad down on the allotment today he has an allotment plot next to me which is really nice and he's sort of already done most of his autumn and winter prep so he did say he'd help me today which is lovely so he's going to help me move the veggie pod and he's also doing a little bit of um, work on one of my vegetable beds he's digging out some of the really awful couch grass so I'm really thankful that he's down helping me today so I've just been really busy emptying the veggie pod of all of the soil that's in it just to basically make it light enough for us to move and carry it um, had all of my strawberry plants in and they are going to go back in. I'm just going to put some fresh compost at the bottom of it. But basically what we wanted to do is clear the back of the allotment there and move this into basically a better position. So I've moved it forward so it's near my raised beds. And um, I don't know if you can see just over here, <laughs> there's like some compost bins that I put all of like my perennial weeds in, like fine weed, brambles, couch grass, um, creeping buttercup and all of those go in there instead of going in my compost bins but because they're all in there sometimes they still carry on growing and it was just creeping into the top of this strawberry bed so the idea today basically is to empty it, move it, get it all nice and flat and then clear the back there, clear all the weeds out below so there's another area and then put all the strawberries back in. My dad is just getting some slabs to put underneath the veggie pod so it's nice and flat because the veggie pod holds water in the bottom. It's like a self-watering system and obviously we don't want the water to be all at one end so just getting this nice and flat and then we'll be filling it back up and putting the strawberries back in hopefully in the next couple of days. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sort out the raised beds. I'm just going to give them a weed and if I've got any really stubborn weeds in there or any brambles I'll be using my hori hori knife to get those out and then I'm going to top the bed up with some compost however the bags of compost that have been on my allotment waiting to be used are slightly frozen um, but what I'll do is I'll empty the compost onto the top of the beds and then over the next few days as the weather is getting a little bit warmer it will thaw out so I'm going to go I've just got two more beds to do I've already done one and then um, I'll see what other jobs need doing today but I'm really excited because this area is starting to come together a bit more now just why I'm doing this little job and fast forwarding through it I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody that has joined my YouTube channel over the past week since I uploaded my last YouTube video I've had loads of new subscribers loads of new comments loads of watch hours and I'm just so thankful that you've all come over to watch my YouTube channel like I really appreciate all your support thank you so much okay so that's um, two of the three beds done I don't know if you saw when I was emptying the compost it's really lumpy that's just because the bags are frozen because I've got I don't know, about 30 bags of compost uh, that are just outside in my allotment that have been there for about a month so um, that will thaw out this week like I say it's getting a little bit warmer and I'll just give that like I'll break it up and move it about I've just got one more bed to do and then that's this area sorted that's the three ra raised beds sorted the um, strawberry bed is in position that needs fill in I've got some bags of multi-purpose compost at home so I'm gonna put those down and fill up the strawberry bed and then put the strawberries back in and get all that done this week um, like I said I just need some more wood chip to go between the path my dad is gonna 
going to just tidy up the back of this area which would be great and then um, the compost bins I'd like to sort of clad the inside of them with uh, plain like sort of sheeted wood just because at the moment the pallet bins are great but the, the compost like falls through all the slats so that's another job to do maybe this week next week and then this area is done uh, dad has helped me quite a bit and he's started digging one of my dahlia beds for me so um, he's really helped me get a bit of a head start once I've finished this area and moving on to the two big beds I'll be taking all the weeds out of those and then just covering them in a thick layer of compost and mulch so that they're ready for this year or for spring yeah it's going well what I'll do is at the start of February I'll do another plot tour so you can sort of see how far it's come on and I can just do little snippets of um, the video from the year um, from the month before so you can just see a little bit of a before and after which would be quite good to see um, anyway I hope you're enjoying it I'm gonna get on with the next bed and uh, see where we're up to Now, as you can see, this bed is full of vine weed. Uh, there's not a lot you can do really to stop it. The only good thing about this perennial weed other than other ones is that vine weed does pull out really easily, but it's so invasive and it grows so quickly. It sort of feels like you pull it out and then in a couple of days it's back. But it is, um, a little bit easier to remove because it's not like a deep rooted weed so I'll be making sure that I just put any of these fine weed roots in a different compost area but yeah it's full of them so I'm going to spend a bit of time pulling them out just to finish off what I was saying, just thank you so much. I'm going to be doing lots of YouTube videos this year. So if there's anything that you want to see in particular, let me know. I will be doing a monthly plot tour update. And then I want to do like a little video every week, whether that's showing you like what I'm up to. Or if you want to know what I'm sowing and growing or planting or whatever. Or if there's anything you want me to show you how to do. If you're unsure, like if you're a beginner, please leave me a comment and let me know. And I'll try my best to do these videos. And I'll try and keep them short and sweet as well which helps i'm pretty sure that's not all of it but that's just some vine weed from that little raised bed so you can see how much of a problem it causes here's a little outtake from my january plot tour video i was laughing at myself because i was moving from side to side of the screen and i look like a weather woman but anyway just look how much of a mess this is right now and then you're gonna see what it looks like after in the next clip it looks so much better it has started to get up so it is time to go because the storm's on its way um but i just wanted to show you this area now all the raised beds have been cleared top with compost and i've found some well rotted uh, wood that's compost bay is looking better. My dad dug all the weeds out from in front of the compost bay so there's that sort of gap between where the grass starts and the compost bay so hopefully it will stop the weeds creeping in to the compost area so that's looking better and my dad did some digging today just on one of my dahlia beds um, and it looks amazing he's just raking it over. He dug up, dug out all of the weeds there's just a little bit more to do with the front. Say hi, Dad! <laughs> um, so yeah, it's looking much better. And it obviously, it's always nice when someone comes to help you. So it's nice to have Dad helping me out um, today. But yeah, very happy with it. So this is sort of like one area almost done. And then on to the next area. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the videos. Hello to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much. I seem to have had lots of love on the last uh, video that I did. So thank you so much. And if you're enjoying it, please subscribe. I'll hopefully bring you new videos every week. That's the plan. And then I'll be bringing you another plot tour at the start of February. Um, I hope you all have a lovely week in your gardens. It's meant to be a little bit warmer this week. So definitely time to get out there and get some stuff done. Bye.